Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to reduce rational expressions, how to simplify them. Typically that's done by hmm, factoring both the numerators and the denominators. Notice that this is a rational expression multiplied times another rational expression so we don't have to change the division to a multiplication by taking the inverse. That's already taken care of. So let's see what we can do about factoring this numerator right here. Well, we can factor out a 6 and an x. When we do that, we get the following. This is 6x times 3 minus 2x. In the denominator, we can probably factor it like this, the product of two binomials. How about a 2x and a 2x? I'm going on a limb, but because I have a 1 here at the end, I think what we need is we need a plus 1 here and a plus 1 there. Notice that 2x times 1 plus 1 times 2x gives us 4x for the middle term. 1 times 1 gives us this, and 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared. So this is the factored form of this trinomial. Now we're going to try to factor this right here. So we're going to write it as the product of two terms, or I should say the product of two binomials. And hmm, here is a technique to use to try to factor something like this. So we're going to take this out here. We have 4x squared plus 8x plus 3, and we're going to rewrite this as 4x squared plus 3, and we're going to write the middle term as the sum of two middle terms. Notice since everything is a plus, I will end up with a plus and a plus here as well. Oop, let me leave some room, because now I have to also determine the coefficients that go in there. And the way you determine those two numbers, or those two coefficients, is by saying that whatever they are, the product must equal the product of these two numbers, the 4 and the 3, 4 times 3, which is 12, and the sum must equal this number right here, 8. So I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply them together, I get 12. When I add them together, I get 8. Hmm. Well, 6 and 2 will work. Yes, 6 and 2 will work perfectly. So I'll put a 2 here, I'll put a 6 there, because 2 times 6 is 12, and 2 plus 6 is 8. So now I see that I have this as a, a polynomial of four terms, but I can group them in groups of two, and then I can factor out from each group of two what's common. On the first group, I can factor out a 2x, so this can be written as 2x times, I'm left with a 2x plus 1, and here I can factor out a 3, and I'm left with a 2x plus 1. And now you can see that in each term I have a common factor 2x plus 1, which means I can factor out a 2x plus 1, and I'm left with a 2x plus 3. So this quantity right here can be written as the product of these two binomials, 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. And in the denominator, I have the difference of squares. I have 2x quantity squared and 9, which is the square of 3, or minus 3 squared. So this can be factored as 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. Now the fun begins. What can I simplify? Well, I see that I have a 2x plus 1 here and a 2x plus 1. And since everything is multiplied, 6 times x times this times this times this, and the same in the denominator, there's no addition or subtraction anywhere. They're just simply binomials multiplied times single terms. I can therefore say I can cancel this with the 2x plus 1 over here. I can cancel the 2x plus 3 with the 2x plus 3 here. And now notice that I have a 3 minus 2x and a 2x minus 3. This is the negative quantity of this. In other words, I can write this as a negative 6x, negative 6x by factor out a negative and multiply this and then write this as a positive 2x minus 3. So simply I pull out a negative 1, so I can write it like this, divided by 2x plus 1 equals, the numerator is 1, and the, oop, not equals, times, times, and the denominator is 2x minus 3. And now you can see that you can factor this and this, or simplify, like so. And finally, this can now be written as minus 6x divided by 2x plus 1. And that's the final, simplest form of my original expression. And that's how it's done.